Welcome to another edition of Ruben Neko. We are live here in Harare, and we're so happy to be here, as we will be every week going forward. And uh, I'd like to introduce my guest. I know you've all been patiently waiting for this, and again, sorry for the delay, um, but we have a lot of things that we have to set up, of course, before we get going. So I'd like to introduce my guest. If you don't know already, our guest today is none other than Ms. Olinda Chapel Chideme. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. <laughs> so, um, is it Chapel? Is it Chideme? Um, we'll just go with Olinda. We'll go with Olinda. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do go the with whole Olinda. Madonna sheer thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so, Olinda, you know, we have um, seen a lot of you on social media. Yeah. Um, if people never knew about you before, they knew about you in the last couple of weeks. And um, the first question that we have you are dating local rapper, married to. Local mm -hmm. rapper, Stana Desmond Chideme. Yeah. And uh, the first question we all want to know, to put this interview into perspective, yeah. is, are you still married to him? No. Okay. Um, we have decided to go our separate ways. Right. Um, I know there was a lot of drama involved during the last few weeks mm -hmm. of our marriage. Um, and it's been a roller coaster mm -hmm. very painful for me and I would like to say also very painful for him um, it's not like he's made out of stone right. he's still human at right. the end of the day right. um, but as it stands you know my bags are packed um, I will be leaving but we are ending this in a good way because we don't know what tomorrow holds mm -hmm. our roads might lead back to each other because um, I still love my husband, and he still loves me, and that he confirmed mm -hmm. that you know I still love you, but we're just in this very uh, messed up place. Right. Yeah. Um, what would you say is the reason for your divorce? Um, well, it started off. You know, every relationship has got its own problems, like every marriage, any relationship does, but. It went the extra mile when I found out that he was, well, well that he had slept with one particular girl mm -hmm. um, through a friend of his. Right. So this was the day that you guys saw the first original live video. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a woman, and I, I'm sure a lot of women can relate, you know, when your man or your husband, boyfriend changes on you, and you're wondering, is it me? And you've got these ideas that go through your head, am I doing something wrong? Mm -hmm. Only for you to find out, and you know what, men do that, they actually make it, make it sound like it's you, mm -hmm. that you are the one with the problem. But when you then find out that in your marriage, it has not been just the two of you, right. it's been the three of you, right? right? You so every woman has something that they say, I will not stay for this. Mm -hmm. Someone will say, I'll never let my husband lay a hand on me. Mm -hmm. Someone will say, I'll never let him cheat on me. Someone will say, I'll never marry someone with the same religion as me. Yeah. So was your final straw and your thing that you'll leave a man for him being, uh, him cheating on you? Infidelity, is that your thing? Uh, or were what, you willing to forgive him at some point? What people do not understand is, um, well, people know. I was married before, and I was married for a good 10 years. Mm -hmm. And in those 10 years, I used to be the other woman Meaning, when I say the other woman, not the girlfriend, I was legally married, wedding rings and everything. Mm -hmm. I was that other woman that my ex-husband, and I will apologize in advance for airing this on air, cheated on me at least 18 times with 18 different women. And I can actually give you a timeline that this was from 2007, January to October. Right. There was Mavis, right. Right? right? And for 10 years, I was quiet. And... That whole safukure mm hapwa, -hmm. a man can do this, but in our culture, you don't leave a man for that. Make it work. Right. And I spend ten years of my life being miserable, mm -hmm. being completely unhappy, mm -hmm. and it does not work. I've been there. I know what I'm talking about. It's so in this relationship, you decided to take a different stance. That this I was, was something yeah. you were not going to take. That, lying down. Yeah, I had to change myself because right. what was the point of me coming from that marriage, getting into another marriage, mm -hmm. 
and still tolerate the things that I left that marriage for. So cheating is something that has seemed to have followed you, unfortunately, in your yeah. marriages. Yeah. And your relationship with Stana mm -hmm. took you to a point where you broke, mm -hmm. right? Because it's pain that you've experienced before mm -hmm. and you weren't going to take it for another 10 years. Yeah. So in your speaking about him publicly is what has brought us here today. Um, we would not know about this mm -hmm. if it weren't for you. We would not know what Stana does with other women or with his wife if it wasn't for you. Yeah. If you could turn back the hands of time, would you still make the entire world know about your personal relationship with your husband and what he has done, what he has not done, how he's been inferred, like, I mean, how he's been cheating on you? Would you still do the same to thing? Be, to be honest, I cannot say I would or I would not because you have to be in that moment, in that position to feel like that because I think despite what he had done in that moment, I also had like 10 years worth of that anger mm -hmm. that I carried forward into that marriage. And I finally exploded to say, enough is enough. It has to stop. But why did you go public with the pain? Because the you are not the part. first woman to have a husband cheat on her. Yeah. You're not the first. And you won't the, be the last. The public part was... The day that I found out that this is what had happened, you know, after a couple of weeks of trying to figure out what was going on with my husband, and I finally had a reason, a, a solid, valid reason, I called him. He was not at home, and I was speaking with him on the phone, and I say to him, this is what I found out. As a typical man, he's like, no, 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 I've got nothing to do with her, what not, what not, and everything. And I knew he was lying to me because, like I said, I've been on that train before. And the telltale signs right. were like all over. And the one thing that was very important to my husband, as much as he sometimes comes across, like he does not care about people's public opinion of him. Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to hurt him exactly where it hurt the most. Okay, you did say this. What mm -hmm. I want to understand from you today mm -hmm. is something that we did not already see in any of your videos because mm -hmm. you have spent a lot of time expressing yourself letting us know why you're angry, why you're hurt, why you're broken. Mm -hmm. So without being repetitive, mm -hmm. I want to understand, would you do it differently if you I had would. the opportunity? You I would, would keep it. The reason because right. um, the first day that I did the live video, during that live video, what people did not know, and including Desmond, I only told him this the day before yesterday. Mm -hmm is there's only a very few people, like it was his cousin sisters that were there. I suffered a miscarriage on that day. I started bleeding, was on the Facebook Live, and there was blood all over. And it's something that I would obviously do differently because of the situation I was in. And um, I started bleeding a lot. And that's when everything was happening off camera. His cousin sisters were there, and they had to put me in the bath start washing me up and cleaning me up and everything. And I did not want his judgment to be based on, on that. That you lost feel, your To child. feel sorry for me. Right. Did I he know you were pregnant? No, he didn't. Did you know you were pregnant? Well, yes, I did. But I had not said anything to him because of the things that was happening. Um, it was not a planned pregnancy or anything like that. Um, well, as married people, you're allowed but, to yeah, plan that. Uh, yeah. But I did not say anything to him. And because of that, and everything that happened, I became so angry. I became so you were emotionally charged. angry. Right. You know. Right. And my anger, I had to have an outlet point right. to let it out. Right. And I could not even tell him that this is what's happened to me. I could, the only person that I could share my pain with, I could not speak to him about it. Mm -hmm. And it's just, uh, it was emotional. That's a lot. Yeah. So, so these are things that we don't know. These are things that people didn't know, that yeah. he didn't know. Did he know this until this point? Well, apparently he told me yesterday or the day before yesterday that somebody told him. So he was aware of this eventually. Yeah, but he respected the fact that I did didn't not want, want sure. to tell him. Sure but he was aware that this is what had happened right. and stuff. And then, obviously, the days after that, I was the sim sim symptoms were mm -hmm. still there. Mm -hmm. I was still getting sick right. and stuff. Right. Um, but, yeah. So You've that been through point, a lot, Olinda. Yeah, so You've that been through point, a lot. Yeah. At that point, like I'm saying, I was 
really, really angry. Right. Like, I was really angry. And up until this moment, I know people say that my anger is misdirected, mm -hmm. that it should be on Desmond. He even said it himself, that, you know what, you're misdirecting your anger. Mm -hmm. The person you need to be angry at is me. Is me. Yeah. Tell me how you feel. But as you said, you wanted to hurt him as much as he hurt you. Yeah. So you were directing your anger at him, but publicly, so it hurt him more. Yeah. Okay, you know, I think um, over the last couple of weeks, we have literally had so many people speak ill about you, yeah. right? Um, it is not a joke that when you put out your first video, mm -hmm. the very first video about what had happened, many women mm -hmm. were on your side. Yeah. Feminists or not, mm -hmm. many women broke with you in that first video yeah. because of how broken you were. Yeah. And you have progressively, I'll call it lost your following mm -hmm. because in as much as what you're saying is so real, and we talked about this interview and said this is a woman to woman interview, and of course we know there are men watching as well, but we're speaking about this woman to woman. I'm not here to, you know, it's not a PR exercise, it's just to understand something that has been put in all our faces for the last couple of weeks. It's been on our timelines, it's been our inboxes, it's been our WhatsApp, it's been everywhere. And although people will say, you know, this is not a pertinent issue, we've got other pertinent issues to discuss in the country, we, we acknowledge that and we'll address that. But right now, you have put yourself in a position where every woman and every man is questioning right? Many things, not just about you, but about their own relationships, because yeah. you've raised a number of issues, Olinda. You've raised the issue of um, infidelity. Mm -hmm. You've raised the issue of um, the use of social media. You've raised the issues of celebrities and their relationships and their right to privacy. Yeah. You've also raised the issue of um, how the balance of power happens in a relationship, right? About the breadwinner. Uh, so these are all things that we do need to look at. To be honest with you, you know, mm -hmm. as much as I've received you know, some hate messages yeah. from some women calling me a disgraced woman. Yeah. But most of the messages I have received, mm. the multitude of inboxes that I have had is women that relate mm -hmm. to what I have gone through. Yes. There's a lot of women that are heartbroken out there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of women that are hurting mm -hmm. and they're not getting fixed. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, mentally, mm -hmm. they're not getting fixed because society or our culture says you are not supposed to speak up. Mm -hmm. Your husband can have a small house out there, have babies, build a house with that person, and you're not allowed to say, this is hurting me. No, I don't, I don't know if I fully agree with you, mm -hmm. right? I don't know if I fully agree. What I would like to say is, you know, I know now we're up to about 2,000 viewers, so welcome to all of you and those still coming, but what I don't know if I agree with Olinda is when you say that you're not supposed to speak out. You are very much entitled to speak out. Our culture is designed to have structures for you to speak out. Kanapati sheds what that you know sheds. What you did is you spoke out out and you made the world. What, what people now actually, you made the world daddy remember me. Yeah, what actually people don't realize mm. is there had been all of that. Right. I have tried not to involve my side of the family because I thought we were going to work things out. We were going to make amends right. and I did not want my family hating my husband because you know if my brother is to see him despite me saying okay my husband and I are good he'll be like ah, but mm -hmm. do you get it mm -hmm. there will always be that because we are designed to feel like that to mm -hmm. automatically love our siblings mm -hmm. but at the same time the people that I approached were his family mm -hmm. and they tried enough times to sit down with him and before you went live before, uh, when, we, when, when we were still trying to figure out what was going wrong. Right. Yeah, we went through all the paces. So you did go through the processes, like any woman His would. family yeah. loved me. Right. Like his immediate family. His mo you know, like I lost my mom last year in May. Yeah, you did explain and that. And in that time, his mom did, was not just my mother-in-law. She and became this is some your of the mother. She became my mother. And even after all of this, she will still remain my mother. If she mm. picks up the phone and says to me, oh, Linda, I'm not feeling well. I would rush to her right, side, right. you know. They love me so much and they stand by me through a lot of things. They might not agree with one or two things, but they can testify to my character mm -hmm. and what I've been to their Let's family. Let's go back to the man, yeah, so, right? So because it's one thing, you know, we know that especially in our culture, mm -hmm. there is an immense amount of support from the immediate family. And we end up oftentimes falling more in love with who we're with because of how the family loves us, mm -hmm. right? Let's talk about Stana. 
does he love you? I think he does. Yeah. To be honest, despite everything that's happened, the last two days we have spent, like last night, we went to bed about 3.30. We were like up until 3.30 in the morning. On the phone or in the same bed? In the same, no, not in the same bed. We, we were on the sofa. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we slept on the sofa last night. Yeah. So we, we really were speaking to each other like on a one-to-one. -one. A level. Not yeah. me speaking to Stana. Okay. I was speaking with Desmond. Okay. And Desmond was speaking with Olinda, the rational side of Olinda. Because mm -hmm. nobody knows the rational side. No, nobody so does. So welcome to yeah. the rational Olinda. Nobody does. Um, a few minutes into our program. Um, we yeah. hope it stays this way. Yeah. Because I think the other thing is people were afraid to no. say, why do we want to hear from Olinda well, again? You know She's what? crazy. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. We know this much. So all they saw L was Olinda, a very scorned there'll all these, There'll be always these amazing quotations and these sexy lines yeah. that we use to justify our actions, yeah. but we cannot take away from that. But let me yeah. let you continue. Yeah. Last night you had yeah, a tete-a-tete -tete -tete with no, Desmond. We, we've been yeah. talking. This mm. is why I think a lot of people got us misconstrued when we went on to Zimbo Live and say, give us space, yeah. we need to talk. You did say, leave us alone. Yeah, leave yeah. us alone for now. Because, you know, when we met, it was me and him. Mm. And yeah. as much as I have, and a fault, this is my fault, not his. I've taken this publicly. I've made my life public. And, and, I, do, and I do understand that mm. I, I owe people an explanation to the end. Because they've, they've been a part of this emotion. People have been not cooking and what not because they're watching Olinda. <laughs> my bundles, uh, my bundles, and here we are again. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I hope this is the end, you know, because it, it my, is, my question at is. the beginning, Olinda, was, are you two still married to each other? And you said no. Yeah. And that for me says a lot. It speaks volumes mm -hmm. because I believe that Paka Biswa Gupuro, Muswe Friday. The incident that happened with the whole Gupuro thing, yeah. it was, it had started the day before, mm -hmm. right? I was actually on the phone with him, Bishara Neja Kanaka. He was on his Snapchat and he's like, on the way to the airport, I'm off to Cape Town. Mm -hmm. So I called him. I was actually sick, you know, mm -hmm. with a cold. Well, what is this? You're going to Cape Town? You don't tell me where you're going. It became a huge argument, right? And then I was like to him, and this is obviously, there's a lot of tension already because of what's happened. And I was like to him, oh, okay. So if you say you're going to Cape Town, I can see you guys are driving the Mercedes. Where are you guys going to leave it? We're going to leave it at the airport. The Mercedes being your car. Well, it's supposed to be my personal car, but we are both using it. Okay. Because uh, the original arrangement was he drives the Lexus, I drive the Mercedes. Okay. But um, so I say to him, do you not think it's wiser if I got somebody to come and pick up the car from the airport, take it home? When you come back, they'll pick you up from the airport. And I was actually thinking his brother goes and picks him up. Right. But because there's been a mention of a lot of material things, he's like, he started screaming and shouting at me on the phone. Mm -hmm. I am your husband. What, it became a huge argument. And then I was just there quiet on the phone, listening to this man scream and shout at me, right? To a point whereby we came off the phone, we were not talking. Following day, right, I was also at this stage where I was fed up. I picked up the phone and I called him. It was about lunch hour. And I say to him, are you still angry with me? Because that was going to decide where the conversation is. He's like, yes, I am. And I have been since your Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how long I'm going to be angry with you. Right. And I was like to him, so if you're angry with me now and you don't know how long your anger is going to last, I do not want to be the recipient of, of, your, of sure. your tantrums or you being abusive towards me sure. like you were yesterday. Sure. So as far as I am concerned, we are done. So this was the day before. before. That was, right. No, no, that was the day after the airport thing happened. That was the day that he then went on about Gupuro. Okay. So the Gupuro thing was Was it a surprise to you or did he actually tell you first? He did not tell me. Okay. I found out through a third party that this right. is what he had done. He just went to your family? So because oh. I was on the phone, what triggered it was I said to him, I think it's just best I come pack my things, and I leave. End this. Right. And that kind of triggered something. So you, you led toward the breakup before he went yeah. and gave Gupuro. And he's like... I don't even know what Gupuro is in <laughs> English. <laughs> so, I mean, therefore, but yeah. so therefore, when I told him that I would come and get my things... Next thing you know, he's Kwambuya Vangu. 
Right. And to be honest, what I said to him in that moment, I was angry towards him. So do you wish he could undo that? You didn't mean it. Ideally, you don't, what, want, what to, you don't want to break up with him, ideally. Uh, right now, I think what is in our best interest, this, we're just caught up in the wrong thing. Right. It has become so messed up. But do you blame yourself for any of I this? I take responsibility for all my actions. So you feel if you hadn't gone live on this, perhaps you and him would be in a better place? He did a song the night that I was flying out right. to come to Zimbabwe. And I've been listening to it in the car. I listened to it yesterday for the first time. And we spoke about the song. And the song goes something like, I, I don't know if you guys can play it, but it was like he really penned his emotions. And I was like to him, is this just another song? Or were you really speaking how you feel? Has feeling? the song been released? Not yet. Okay. Uh, it is Ndoyenda. That's mm -hmm. the name of the song. And it goes like, Pafea dinokuda. Asi jawaita hajivake musha. Like, I do love you. Mm -hmm. But what you did, what you then went and did, hajivake mm musha. -hmm. Okay. De wakawaya kwandiri. Wakanditi babeve mwana. Kuchicha maita. Wataura nini shakanaka. You know, it would have made a difference. Right. He says, when I spoke with him about this, he says, you know what, oh, the day that you found out that I had cheated, had you taken a different approach whereby you would have just packed and left, I would have been groveling. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I was, I, as a joke, I was like to him, yeah, but you'd be blocked on my phone. He's like, yeah, but I'd still be begging for you. I'd be the one on this saying right. I want my wife back. Sure, sure. I'm going to throw something in for a second. I mean, a lot of the time when I was reading around what was going on with the two of you, the biggest thing that came up was, is this a publicity stunt? Are Olinda and Stana trying to gain mileage? And from what you've just said, as beautiful as it sounds on a surface level, mm -hmm. um, and I suppose the intimacy of your relationship that he penned this song, another person who's business-minded and who's an artist will think yeah. this is an opportune time yeah. to drop a song like that. Whether or not he's genuine well about it, what? whether or not it's sincere, let me he would pin it and say, look, let me write the song and it becomes a hit because it was the story of his life. But you know what? That's a man after my own heart because <laughs> being a businesswoman, no matter where you are, you always look for opportunities, even when you're really down in the dirt. Okay, so know? let me go to you being a businesswoman because okay. this is something that we know and don't fully know. Right. Um, you know, a lot of the time, again, looking at what's been happening on social media, some people will say, oh my gosh, Olinda must really love Stunner or Stunner must be really good at certain things, okay? Or, or Olinda has invested too much in this man to let him go easy. You then expose that to us on Sunday or Saturday yeah. when you showed us statements of your world remit transfers and how much money you send to this man. Mm -hmm. You send so much money to this man. Are you building a house? Are you building a school? <laughs> I mean, why are you sending so much money to him? And where is that money going? You know what? Um, this, he can vouch for me. I mean, we've had this conversation. I love my husband. And maybe I don't love him as much as I did then because of what's happened. But I would have moved mountains for that man. Mm -hmm. And for me to be able to move mountains for him, that means he was doing something right at some point, mm -hmm. right? And obviously when things went pear-shaped, that's, that's what I was fighting for. So out of love, you would do anything for him, i.e. send him whatever money he needs for anything. Oh. I mean, even on a level of you're the breadwinner, Olinda, uh -huh. you know, I'm not trying to get into your finances or anything, right, okay. but you sent a lot of money to him. But that's me. Does he, did he not, was he not able to take care of himself? Let's generalize this. Yeah. Despite Desmond being my husband, yeah. that is me. Okay. Whether it's with family members. You're generous. Whether it is with anybody that comes to me and say they've got a problem, even with friends, strangers, I'm like that. Mm -hmm. My... This is something that I get from my mom. You know, my, my mother was one of those women that she was never stingy. Mm -hmm. You'd buy groceries for my mom. My mom would give them away. But she gets left without, mm -hmm. right? That is how I grew up. That is how I was raised. Right. I am not, and I guess when you give as well, because if you have to give, you know, your hand is like that. Mm -hmm. But being like that, it also means you get to receive back. Yes. And do you receive anything from him? From from Des? Yeah. He's done one or two things for me, but I cannot like say what? on the same things that he's done for me that are not on a money level. Okay, it's not materialistic. It's not materialistic. Okay, sure. Is he's been a great dad to, to my two children. boys. Yeah. Right. With my oldest, 
you know, I got to a point where I'll take a step back. I will not even go out with him or anything. He was like his entourage. Handle it. Yeah. yeah, they would go together. They would be together. I mean, that was his last Instagram picture. Sure. He was with my boy. I'm glad you've talked about your kids because mm -hmm. the other thing that came up is, as a mother, what is this doing to your children? When you went on Facebook Live, Blind with rage, fury, anger, you rightfully said there's nothing like a hell hath no fury, mm -hmm. like a woman scorned. But did you think about your children? And I mean, for you to do it repeatedly, one has to think. I mean, your my, oldest my, is 16. My, 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 youngest, you, Linda. my youngest mm. is oblivious to all these things that's happening. But your oldest? Even when I say to him, I'm going to Zimbabwe, are you going to see daddy? Are you going to be swimming with daddy? Tell daddy this. It's, there's that relationship. But then there's also this the 16 engine year old. called Google. That yeah. when that child then grows up I know. and he Googles his mother, I know. he's going to find these things. But I believe I have raised my kids so well, you know, because my oldest, I had my oldest, my oldest is 16. Mm -hmm. I had him when I was 17. Mm -hmm. I've basically grown up myself right. with my son. Right. And right now, he's very angry. And his anger is not at me. He's angry at this man but you've exposed your man's weaknesses, right? When they no, say no, no, I have not. Yeah. He's angry at him because what people actually do not realize, you know, and I'm not saying this to bash Des, mm -hmm. right? I've got pictures in my phone of this girl, this Dion girl, mm -hmm. with my son. Mm -hmm. You know, was I'd taking rather for the purpose of the interview, we don't mention her name. Because there's no confirmation about your accusation of her, him dating her. We don't have that information. We don't, we well, don't have those, but we don't. You get yeah. it. So for the purpose of this interview, I'd like us to focus on you. Right. And yeah, focus on Des. We're talking about my son. Yeah. We're talking about my yes. son and how this has affected sure, him. Sure, sure, sure. I have mm. got, this is some of the things that triggered mm -hmm. my anger. Mm -hmm. Desmond was taking my son to be around these girls, right? These girls are his age. and Your son's age. My son's age. And at some point, my son actually thought he had met girlfriend material or whatever <laughs> and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? So I've got loads of pictures right. of this girl with my child. Mm -hmm. It's like, imagine this society that we're in. He's got his daughter. I understand. Where would I no, be right now? No, that's offside. I mean, on, on any level. On any level. Anyone who's sane. And you then know? the recent okay. thing that happened, the Snapchat of yeah. him grabbing this girl's thighs mm -hmm. and whatnot was not sent to me. It was sent to your son. It was sent to my son. Right. So my son is really angry. What are you doing about that? Because you've got a lot to manage right mm -hmm. now. You know, you're a woman who's got to deal with your own heart. Then you've got children that you've got to raise in the correct way. Yeah. They're in very delicate years in their life with how they decide how they view man, how they view woman. And it is very important for you to align them to make sure that, one, your son doesn't become a Desmond. No. Or doesn't, well, you know, go I've the other I've been raising extreme. my you know son I mean? from day one not yeah. to be that kind of man okay. because there's another man that's a part of his life that's already like that. Sure. So I've been yeah. coaching him from day one that okay. you treat women with respect. Right. Hence why he does not understand why this is happening to his own mother. Sure, sure. Right? So and I want to know why you came back this time. You came back to pack your things yeah. or you came back hoping to reconcile? No. This time I was really fed up and angry. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? Uh, initial drama, a lot of people set us down. You can make this work. You can do this. You can do that. To a point whereby the two weeks after all this happened, my kids came back to England. They went to school. They were with their dad. Mm -hmm. They went to school. Everything was fine. We, it was just me and him in okay. the house. Okay. And it was amazing. Yeah. What I mean, it was amazing. We were like really talking. Mm -hmm. Things were fine between us. He would come home appropriate time. He would have his dinner. It was like we were going through the paces. Sure. But I knew it wasn't going to fix things mm -hmm. because my ad idea was, and this kuba, until we are sorted, mm -hmm. I'm not going to go home. I've got people that run my company for sure. me, so sure. I'm good. I will stay here. Sure. I'll be the wife. Okay. And to a point where I thought, you know what, after two, three weeks, we were in a good enough space. And I say to him, you know what, babe, I think I'm going to go home. Bigger. Okay. I think I'm ready to go home because I've got work that needs sorting out. Need to I need on. to get back with sure. the kids. And we take it from there. Okay. But as soon as I left, all hell broke, broke loose. loose. Yet again. Okay. And some have come up with the notion that probably he was just waiting for me to get on that flight. Mm -hmm. And Do you think that? No. 
because you have I am choosing yeah, not, to, not think to think that, that way because what I'm trying to do after having our conversation is I am trying to take the positive out of this because as a woman what is the positive out of this the positive out of all of this I'm going to remember the good times that I've had with that man okay. the man that he was the man that worshipped and loved me the man that was good to my kids the man that sent me midnight kisses every day mm -hmm. for like six <laughs> eight months yeah. do you get it yeah. i'm going to take that away f with me because i'm not going to choose to take um the bad stuff right because if i take the bad stuff if i take the pain the hurt mm -hmm. and everything else i am going to leave mm -hmm. i go with this and then what how is that going to fix my life because the plan from here is olinda gets back to being olinda this is what I want us to focus on, yeah. especially. I mean, um, we're going to take your messages after the break. Um, we have lots of your messages coming through. Don't worry. We see them and we hear you. Um, just to finish off our segment here, uh, Olinda, uh, you know, one of the things that you, know, ha you have emphasized on is the financial aspect of your relationship. Once you get angry, you start reminding people what you do for him, you know, what it is that you bought for him, all of those things. So I want to come to that and say, you know, when... When we talk about Olinda, we also look at the duration of your relationship with this man. And one of the speculated issues is that you paid your own lobola. No. That's not true. No. I've been honest with everything okay. else. If I had, I would, if, you know, I would really be open about it mm -hmm. to say mm -hmm. this is what has happened. Right. But no. Okay. No. The other thing that has come up as well is karma, right? Mm -hmm. That at some point you were married to a man mm -hmm. um, called uh, Byron Fundira. No, I wasn't. No, I was not married to him. The mm -hmm. issue that there is at hand... There was a gay Nofundira yeah. who went on, on live and as well. You know what? Actually there wasn't <laughs> Facebook Live at the time, but she released a live video yeah. in a similar manner to the one that you did. I and you seem to have been the woman in question no, about what not. she was upset about. Yet again, mm. social media took the wrong thing mm -hmm. and ran with it. Yeah, they, they ran far. <laughs> I'm actually glad that yeah. you've brought this up because mm -hmm. for over two, three years of this happening, I have never bashed that woman because I knew what she was going through personally. Mm -hmm. The history of it, and this is the story, what actually happened. If and you could summarize it really quickly, yeah, because I that's would. not the focus of today. No, but no, there's no. something that came up. Yep, so that's fine. Just I, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> um, yeah. what, what came up, what happened was, I used to work for Gaino and her husband before I opened my own company. Mm -hmm. I was their operations director. Mm -hmm. So basically, I was their second in command. Mm -hmm. So when the husband way right Gaynor was never hands-on with the business I never met the woman during the whole year and a couple of months that I was actually within the business right it was only when the husband made a very inappropriate pass at me I handed in my resignation and I was like you know what I'm not doing this with you right at the end of that month the husband being very vindictive chose not to pay me and he was not answering my calls. And at that point, I'd shipped over some cars and some trucks to Zimbabwe, and I needed to pay duty. Mm -hmm. So what I then did is I called Gaino, and I was like to her, my fundira, this is the situation. You know, I'm no longer with your company, but your husband is refusing to pay me. And she's like, oh, are we able to sit down and talk face to face? Because I've got issues going on with, with Byron. And I was like to her, okay, I'll meet you at the office. Whilst I was driving from Oxford to High Wycombe, she called me. I'm at the office, but Byron has called police to the office. I am not allowed to access my own property. I spoke with the police officers. I was like to them, as far as I am concerned, this woman actually owns the property. It's her name that's on the mortgage mm -hmm. and everything. Why are you refusing for her to, to enter the property and everything? Uh, she's like, no, that's fine. Let's meet at a coffee house. We met at a coffee house. She had a wad of papers like this evidence that I saw, one document was Byron had went and taken a second mortgage against their property, forged her signature. It was 75,000 pounds worth of money. Okay, this sounds like a whole other chapter. Yeah, yeah. So the long and short of it is that is a misunderstanding and yeah. it's not true. So what actually happened I don't know, was... I don't know if people mind whether it's true or the not. The day but after... I had to ask it because no, no. it has come up Yeah, repeatedly. let me conclude like so really quickly. Yeah. The day after I met her, because I also gave her information mm -hmm. to aid what she was trying to do for herself... Mm -hmm. It was another woman in distress. The day after, that's when she w did the whole Facebook Live because right. she had sort of like absconded. Mm -hmm. She was supposed to get sectioned in a hospital. Mm -hmm. She ran away from hospital. At about 
8 in the morning, I first it started off with a phone call at 5 in the morning. I received a call from High Wycombe Police Station asking me where Gaino was. They thought I was with Gaino, but I wasn't. Okay. And at 8 in the morning, I'd gone to um, Western Union to send money over for the trucks. Mm -hmm. My mom was actually at my house. The police came over and they searched my house looking for Gaino, thinking I was, was hiding. Looking, right. I was hiding her from all this that was happening, so sure. right? And then I picked up the phone. My mom actually said to me, if this woman is your friend, mm -hmm. tell her to go home. Mm -hmm. So I called her. She did not pick up her phone. I texted her, Gaino, the police has, have been to my house. Mm -hmm. Can you, if you need me to come pick you up, I'll pick you up and take you home. Sure. At this point, Gaino had already put out that she met, well, she had caught her husband in bed with their babysitter. I'm not, not trying, to do I'm, not, I'm not trying yeah. to toot my own horn, but I don't look like anybody's nanny or anybody's babysitter. Um, <laughs> okay, no, yeah. Linda, I'm going so to you're with me. You no, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, I think with the me. long and short of it is that it wasn't me. True. It, was, right. it wasn't me. We can yeah. take it. We're not gay, nor we're not uh, yeah. in that, but it was something that has come up repeatedly, saying maybe karma is playing no, a no, time No, I actually on helped the woman. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, we are going to take a quick break, and we'll be back. Uh, and as you know, of course, it is St. Valentine's Day today. Those of you that observe it, some of us wore red, just for you. Um, but we also have some giveaways, okay? We've got um, African Fire. They've given us four giveaways for you. African Fire is a local uh, jewelry company. They manufacture, design their jewelry locally. And uh, there are four giveaways, which we're going to get into at the very end of the program. So do have your keypads close, because we're going to ask a few questions. And if you answer them first, you get to walk away with a gift. If you've been uh, slacking and haven't bought your partner a gift yet, this is the opportunity to give them one. So um, we're going to give those away later. But of course, as we come back from the break, we're going to take your comments and your questions to Olinda as we finish off this program. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Ruvenico Live. The hashtag is Ruvenico Live. We are live here in Harare, and uh, we are speaking with Olinda. And we getting to the bottom of everything that we have witnessed over the last couple of weeks regarding her marriage to Stana Desmond Chidema, who we all know as Stana the rapper here in Zim. And uh, she's clarified that at this juncture, they're no longer officially married. Um, Stana did marry Olinda last year. He did what we do traditionally. He paid his bridal price, and uh, they did not... Uh, then after that, they had a number of issues, and up until this point, up to today, they're no longer together. Stanaka Bisagopuro on Friday, and Olinda, who lives and is based in England, flew back in order to pack her things so that they could officially end their relationship. It seems as though there's obviously a lot of emotion and tension going on. I don't think any of us can manage this level of pressure. Not all of us have perfect relationships or perfect marriages. But um, it's very difficult to handle the situation in the position they've put themselves in where everything is in the public eye. So she's here now to hopefully have us see her for the last time on Facebook Live. I believe you can't go live on your own Facebook anymore. Did no, you get blocked? I, I, I can. Somebody reported me, but now yeah. I Yeah, <laughs> so I you were can. blocked. I because can. Because Wangwa Nyanya. I know, uh -huh. I know, right? I know. Wangwa you know Nyanya or Linda. Do you know when you do stuff like that? Uh. For a moment, you're like in a trance. I was in a trance. No, no, seriously. One day, two days, three days, at one hour, point, four. Someone. At some point, I was so You know, like people try to restrain you. <laughs> I believe one of the videos even had Stana's own mother saying, "Oh, Linda." Do you know what? Mwanangu. I was. No, 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 it wasn't his mom. It was somebody else. Yeah, you know, I was. Like, you know, like mm -hmm. hell hath no fury mm -hmm. like a woman scorned. You cannot keep saying that because you are not the first but woman the to be is, scorned. No, you no, are no, not no. the first woman to be I furious. Mean, I disagree. But no, no, no. Let's I, not <laughs> I don't want to get into a debate be. of my opinions no, no, because no, it's not no, about no. me. It's okay? not about that, but yeah. it's about individuals. Mm -hmm. People deal <laughs> with their emotions, right. their heartbreak in different ways. 100%. Thank God. You know what? I see this as a blessing. Thank God I went <laughs> on Facebook Live mm. because, for example, this morning when I woke up, there was something about some man that killed his wife. Mm. Because he found used condoms. Mm. 
Where would I be right now if I had killed my husband? No, no, I know. Yeah, I mean, okay, so, so that one was thing, not worst case scenario. No, sure, sure. You know, people have done worse right. because of pain. Right. But I just chose to vent in that way. In that way. God and God as forbid. you said, if you could undo it, you would. Yeah. Right. You wouldn't do yeah. the same thing. Yeah. All right, let's get to our Facebook platform and get your comments coming in now. There's plenty. One of the comments here is from Alicia Taylor. Hello, Alicia. Uh, she's obviously one of our over 3,000 viewers now. Um, Alicia says, "How this is uh, in regards to the first, I think, very emotive uh, thing you mentioned earlier about your miscarriage. Mm -hmm. Alicia asks, how can the doctors not know that you were pregnant when they did weight loss surgery on you? You did mention in your video that you had gone through reconstructive surgery. So um, that's her question. The, well, I did not have weight loss constructive surgery. Mm -hmm. What I got done was a gastric balloon. Okay. And it was not done in England. It was done in Turkey. Okay. Right? The, it was just them inserting a balloon into my stomach. But it got so, they didn't do it correctly. It became so embedded in my antrum that my stomach, I could not keep anything down, not even water. Mm -hmm. And the fact that I flew back to England the same day, right, um, the cabin pressure mm -hmm. made the balloon blow up a whole lot more. Mm -hmm. So I was in a lot of excruciating pain. Right. Hence why the following day, the same day I went to hospital, they had to take it out. That was the only way they could do it. So there was no nip and tuck or cutting off anything. Okay. It was only a Because you did mention in your video that I went through reconstructive surgery to lose weight. It weight for yeah, you, they call it weightless surgery, yeah. but it, it was a uh, bariatric surgery. Did the doctors surgery. not figure all of this out about no. your pregnancy during all this and time? And me, me being pregnant yeah. was actually, like I said, it was not intended because I was actually on a coil. Mm. But the coil moved. Mm -hmm. It was not in place. They could not find the strings or anything like that. So it was nothing that was planned. So this was um, you know, birth control gone wrong. One yeah. of those 1 point or 0.1 percent chances yeah. that we all yeah. read about. But Fair as, enough. as a yeah. mother, it is something that, that happened. Sure. And it is something that I would really, like I've mentioned it because it was, you wanted to understand mm -hmm. why I was, the other reasons why I was in so much pain that I did not share with people on that day, but this is what happened. Okay. So sure. Some questions here. Patients, Patricia Mufufi, hello, Peshi. She says, if she knew what she knows now about Stana, would she still have gotten involved with him? Um, I do not understand. What do I know about him now? That he cheated on you. That he could cheat on you. Obviously, when you got married, mm -hmm. did you know that? Well, when we got married, I did not think that he would. He spoke so highly of him that I'm not that man. But, but you did mention one of your videos that everybody told you. Yeah, well, that's what everybody was saying about mm -hmm. him. Mm. But he was this guy that when people came into my inbox, he would be like, you know what, the more you go into my wife's inbox, the more he would be posting all these things. Mm. The more I love her, the what he, <laughs> he reassured me through, through it all that, that you know what, gonna be that, way. that he was all about me. Sure. And as far as the conversation with the cheating, what he has said to me has transpired with this particular girl, I'm not trying to bash anybody or put anybody down, is the initial thing, it was just one of those, because we had been arguing, he just called her up, where are you, meet me at a friend's house, mm -hmm. went over, had sex with her, it was done, it was meaningless, he left, right? Again, the Snapchat, the day he came from the Gupuro thing, he's like, you know, I was so mad, I was looking for the first thing that I could get my hands on to solidify that, you know what, this marriage is over. Yeah. And she's the first person I thought of. And she was like to him, oh, how come I don't know you that you, you know, you're still with your wife? And he's like, put it on Snapchat. I'm not with her. I see. And then he's like, you know, in that moment, he said to himself, Des, what are you doing? Okay. He no, got I, I wouldn't want you to speak on his behalf. Yeah, and I'm telling, you what, yeah. I'm telling you what, what he's, he's saying to, to me. You, yeah. And I'm not no. saying it's true, because probability <laughs> is... Yeah. He's going to this girl and he's telling her a totally different this story. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. So I think that so one, let's, let's just power through some yeah. of these questions. So okay, keep them coming through. Said. Right, okay. And then another question here. Um, what business does she have, right? Another question is, who is Olinda? Who okay. is Olinda Chapel? Unoita Basari, what do you do? And okay. what are you about? I think just out of interest. Um, um, <sighs> all I'm about, to be honest, besides everything that's happened in the last year and couple of months, my life before then has been, I'm a very hard working person. Mm -hmm. And all I do is I put on my trainers every day. I'm not even in high heels. I don't even bother with that as much as I love shoes. Mm -hmm. 
I do my school run in the morning. I go to work. From work, I come home. I continue with my kids. And it's just about work and my kids. Mm -hmm. And that's it. In regards to what I do, um, I'm a company director. I'm a sole director. Um, Gain Healthcare. Gain Healthcare has now become sort of a group of companies because it's branched out to other aspects. Mm -hmm. But the main business has been recruitment. Um, people kind of mix it up with a care agency. I do not run a care agency. I, I provide staffing. So it's recruitment. Okay. So I supply staff to different um, health and social sure. care sure. sectors. Sure. So that's my main business, but I also am involved in medical supplies okay. and a lot of other things that I've been doing. But unfortunately, because of what's happened between me and Des, uh, Zimbabwe was becoming my home. The only thing that was holding me or tying me down here was my mom. She passed away. I no longer have family. And it was Desmond. Right. Now that he's out of the picture, I will be pulling out any of my business interests from this country and focusing on... What's outside. Yeah. Okay. That answers that. Um, another question here from N.M. Tandi. Please kindly advise her to seek professional help. Do you think you need professional help? I agree with her. Mm -hmm. I am, like I said, I work within health and social care. This has been traumatizing, mm -hmm. right? I need to sit down and speak with somebody, a, a professional. Like, even with, you know, I'm not trying to compare myself because I know I get backlashing for this. The Kim K's and everybody else out there, they've got therapists, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know what? I do need to have some serious one-on-one -on -one time because there's still a lot of things that are... That are bottled up inside. Yeah, Correct. that I need to... And Des has been wonderful enough the last two days mm -hmm. to answer each and every question because when a man cheats, women can relate. You want to know how, when. Did he take his clothes off? Did he kiss her? Did he what? Those are questions that, you know, as crazy as they sound, we ask yes. because we want to know right. as women. So okay. I still have a few things that I... You, you need, need to, to resolve. I need are you aware that, I mean, you know, back to this issue of people just thinking that you are crazy, you know, besides being hurt, that you're crazy, where social media opens a lot of people, even younger than you, mm -hmm. some people who might now look at you and think, oh, this might be the way to go. Um, do you take any responsibility for the social responsibility you have well, now, having made yourself so public and coming even on a platform like this with all these viewers? I got a lot of backlashing, yeah. for, especially from my family, yeah. to come and sit down and talk to you. But the thing is, what people have seen is they've only seen um, that side of me. Mm -hmm. There's some people that have been following me, you know, genuinely yeah. following me, taking an interest in my life. They know the kind of person I am. But um, you've, you've presented a different side to yeah. everybody else. So, yeah. you know, nobody is going to be kind to But that's to you. the one that I mean, I've got backlash on your behalf because of today's interview. I know. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, what they saw is what they chose to see. Yeah. Reason because the people that have been genuinely following what me. What we chose to see, Olinda, for no, example, no, when I, let me even explain. when you were holding pills that day, were you being serious or were you just being dramatic? At some point, you, the pain was so bad. But were you being this serious? Was, this was now after the whole blood thing. Yeah. Right. But were you really going to take those pills? At that point, because to be honest. I remember at that point, you know, people walked in. It really looked like a stage at that reality point, show. At that some point. people were like, no, 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 this woman is not stable. At that point, it could have happened, but it didn't. Right. And it's not something that I would say, you know what, I am suicidal or anything, because it was just breaking point. Mm. Uh, you know, what people need to understand is I'm not trying to defend myself. I'm not trying to you know, say, I was right, mm -hmm. I am the victim, I am this. I, I am taking complete, 100% responsibility. responsibility for my actions, for what my husband did. He hurt me. Yeah. Veneco, he really no, I don't think anyone deep. takes that away from you. Olympus. No, they have. No. They have, because, because they're telling me. But it's how you then continue. You get it? That was that my way. Video, you know, that first video was No, enough. no. Let's assume that that I, first I'm video sorry. was even permissible. I, I, I'm really sorry, but yeah. I will not allow anybody to, to tell me or dictate yeah. how I'm supposed to feel when I am hurting. Not about conducting my life, okay. but when you're hurting, you're going through a serious emotion. Right. Right? Right. And what I was doing was giving me some sort of relief. But Wangwanoti, Olinda, Nakuraira. Because you and Yayekuti, you do not put your business in public, although you were angry and scorned. Where were they when all these things were happening behind closed doors, when we were having matare, ni matare, ni matare, mm -hmm. trying to figure out what was going on with my husband? Because at some point, 
He was not himself. But did you think that those public rants would actually get your husband back? Or did you realize that at that point you were on your on your journey? Do you know divorce? what? Because that very few men, when it comes to ego and pride, Olinda would forgive something like that. The things that you said, I mean, let's be fair, yeah, as women, they always say the things that men need are money, pride, and respect. If you, if you, money, love, and respect, sorry, if you give them those things, then they're good. But again, so for me, it comes back, I'm not disagreeing with you, mm. but it comes back to when you are hurting mm -hmm. and you are angry, mm -hmm. you actually lose, you, 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 you go through this temporary insanity thing that goes on with you. But you you are lose control. Because, you, you know, okay, so you are now admitting in retrospect mm -hmm. that this was not the best way to go about it. No, it wasn't. And if you could do it differently, you would. But I am but explaining. But it doesn't take away how hurt you were. But I'm explaining that in that moment, if you ask me now, would I do it differently? I would say, you know what, I would. But that's why I even say to you, I cannot, say, cannot promise that I would. Because maybe at that point, I would just go buy a shotgun and decide to shoot him dead. Mm -hmm. God forbid. But in that moment, because of the hurt and the pain, this, it just happened. Okay. And you're like in a trance, and then right. you ask yourself after, what the hell was I thinking? Mm. This is not me. Right. And okay. I guess that's why he was also in shock because right. he's like, no, that's not the woman I married. Right. You know, because I, I even have... At some point, you lose each other completely. Yeah. Let's come back to our Facebook platform because we now have over 12,000 viewers um, and there's a lot going on on this platform. So, uh, question here is uh, two, right, comments. You have a striking resemblance to Pokello. Um, right. And then another one here. D don't blame me for that. Yeah. If he's got a type, this he's got Grace a type. And, oh, he's got a type. <laughs> <laughs> if he's got a type, he's got a type. Not wrong, not wrong. Well. Okay. And another comment, Grace Ann says, why keep mentioning Pokello? The hairstyle and the lip ticks, that's Pokello style too. What's uh, up with that? I do not think so. Mm. Four years <laughs> of my high school, I had this haircut. My friends know that. Mm -hmm. I had a haircut like this for four years. Mm. Three years ago, if you go on my Instagram or pictures, I had a hairstyle like this. So... This is not about looking like Pokelo. I've had this. I've owned this way before she even had it. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Let me tell you something. The woman's got style. Mm -hmm. And I am not one to put another woman down just to make myself feel good. Okay. She looks good in her clothes. She dresses well. God, if well, I was lesbian, I would go for her. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> that's okay, well, let's not just call her the woman. Okay, yeah. She is an ex. Right, yeah. so this is why it's contextual. Yeah. Um, it's only because Pokello is an ex of Stana. So, I mean, there's a sort of speculation that you went to her actual barber to get the exact same hairstyle that she has uh, That I was referred to that barber. I did not even know that was her barber. Okay. I, I mm. And Des would know yeah. where I got the reference from. It was not, I did not even know that was a barber. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, I'm now growing my hair out because I want to. Mm -hmm. And I think you've all noticed that my hair's grown in the last couple of weeks. But yeah, like I said, I will not put the woman down. I think she's got great taste. I think she l she's beautiful. I think, you know, she's who she is. Mm -hmm. And if we kind of look alike, then... Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. And why but did what you keep I'm mentioning her in your videos, though? It seemed as though there was some kind of maybe I think interest or she, she something kind of that bothered you. She kind of stepped out of line. Um, at which point? At f a few times. The Thursday before we got married, you know, um, she sent a text. And Des was like, Pokella's texting me. He was like, shocked himself. Pokella's texting me. Why is she texting me? And he showed me the text. The text was, Wangu, um, I heard you're getting married this weekend, and he's like to her, it's none of your business. Please don't text me. And then she's like, she continued from there and said, oh, but I thought you said you were done, mm -hmm. right? So I did not know whether at some point Des had said to her, no, we can't get married because he's done on marriage as somebody that had been married before. Or maybe he had gone to her and told her that, you I know mean, what, I was gonna I'm say, done with Olinda. I mean, I was going to say, you don't just open the phone and see a message. Yeah. Like, there must have been context. This, I don't yeah. know. But this is what transpired. And mm -hmm. I was just thinking, you know what? For somebody that is somebody's wife, right, that was a little bit disrespectful on my relationship, on me as a woman, you know, from another woman who is somebody else's wife. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't have done that. And then the other second incident that was there, I was at the hairdressers and her friend, I don't know if I'm allowed to name names, but there no, was a friend of hers not, uh, that was in the, in, the, in, the, yeah. in the same salon as me. I was on the phone with Des's mom. And I was having a conversation with her. And her friend picked up this conversation, told Pokello. Pokello pick, picks up the phone, calls Des, and 
repeats the conversation I was having with my mother-in-law. And I'm just thinking, woman. Well, it must have kind of been a private conversation if you're having it in a hair salon. We all know as women. Our yeah, our but heads, our yeah. Salon. It, it wasn't <laughs> Nyaya like that. Yeah. Uh. It was a conversation I was having with my mother-in-law, okay, which I thought was appropriate enough to be having in a hair salon. Sure. But I just thought, woman, why can't you stay the hell out of my life? Mm -hmm. Why are you conversations in the hair salon? Why do you think you feel the need and tell my husband sure, sure. all those things, you know? All right. I think if you, if that's, um, I mean, this is something that has just come up again, it sort of repeated, and there were memes all over the internet at some point when you got the hairstyles, which you are, you know, Kanaona, Utuatutadzagu, Gita Mumi, might as well go try to look like her. So all those things came up, and I, I must mention them, and I'm glad you've addressed it, because if there's a history behind it, it then is understandable where there would have been a bit of shade thrown mm -hmm. on both sides. But we can move on from that one as we now edge toward wrapping up our program. Now, um, we are going to now, obviously, just ask you one last question um, at this point. Where to from now? The right. woman, Olinda, okay. obviously needs to pick her life up and carry on. You yeah, are a definitely. mother, you are an employee, you're a, I'm sorry, you're a, a business owner. You've got a life out there. No, I so do. what now? A very good one yeah. for, 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 for that matter. Uh, according to the memes, there are many men lined up waiting to be blessed by you. Good Lord, as well. my okay. inbox. Yeah. And do you know what's even worse? Uh. Do you know, Maripa number one, Pacho, mm. the one that were running into my inbox, Shamar is that Desmond. They also want to be kept His like you kept His they, friends, they, <laughs> they, and it's quite disgusting. But as far as I am concerned, relationship-wise, for Olinda, right, this is too fresh out of a marriage. He and I are... Uh, going to keep in touch. We are going to talk. Who knows? Roads might lead back to each other. We might go separate ways. But if it's not with him, right, whatever man that mm -hmm. is going to come into my life, God knows what mountains that man has got to move to get even my phone number or a first date. That person really has to walk on water. Right. That's as far <laughs> as I am concerned. I've got these walls that Built are now like naturally. really yeah. high. Okay. And it's going to take a while because I still also have to work through Your my emotions. Feelings. Because Correct. like I said, I very much ask me, yes, my relationship has come to an end. Do I still love that man wholeheartedly? Yeah. Mm. So I still have to work through all that until, you know what? Mm. I'm free of that love or whatever it sure, is. Sure. And so that's the relationship side of things. And in regards to the day-to-day -day things, you know, is Olinda's got her stuff packed. I'm going to leave. And when I leave, I'm going to go back and do what I do best, right. which is work. So can we get a commitment from you today? Right. So this mm -hmm. is not me trying to be the police or anything right. or Mark Zuckerberg. But can we say that today marks the end of, for a while at least, yeah. of Olinda on Facebook Live? Ha, I'm not allowed to say good often. Tarara, Tamuka, Tiribo. I think the in most fact. important thing, to be honest with you, um, <laughs> is I'm going to really try and get, I'm, I don't know how much I'm going to spend on this, but I'm going to get Google to remove anything. Because you search want your life back. I want my life back. So this back. means that you will not do anything no. from this point. No. So please look at her and look at her good. There are no tears. No. Okay, she's no. not breathing, puffing or panting. This is Olinda as you see her. Um, people, people have told me and you know she's beautiful she must pick up her life and yeah. move on you know all that stuff so you know what this is Charles Mufakos he says she's beautiful she must focus on life so there's a lot yeah. of support that, for you that's here. what we're going to do it's going to be if anything if yeah. anybody is to hear of me yeah. I want it to be based on my strengths which is my work sure. and the things that I want to do. So let's go there's back. Yeah, let's focus lot, yeah, on that. There's a lot but of for the men that are looking at you as a potential when you're ready and you're healed, the other thing that they're scared of is that you will be that woman that will continue to paint men in a bad light and say, Dam tengera chakati, da zodai, da zodai. Uh, you know, why mention all those think, things? I don't think why that, you that will... Woman? I don't think I, men do that. I don't think that will be a problem because mm. if I am completely moved on from Des and um, my relationship with him, the next man that has to come there... <laughs> bank statement as part of the search criteria to show that you know you're uh, looking for something different yeah so oh when i God. say babe i need that posh panamera it's to happening like black card go and get you you know fix you <laughs> <laughs> all right well you heard it from her i'm gonna have to come to you of course as i said our exciting gift <laughs> we have some very fun giveaways for you um this is uh from african fire okay so if you can come closer i don't know if you can come really close 
and see what we have to give away here. This is a gift for a couple, or maybe even best friends. I don't know. This is a day of love, so whoever it is that you love, whether it's your grandmother, your mother, your lover, your friend, um, they're these uh, hearts, right? They separate. They're made of silver, as I said, locally made. So you'd put one, it's a pendant, and you put one on the other. So this is what we're giving away. So to give away these, we're going to ask a couple of questions. The first question we're asking is, what was my first Facebook Live show here on Rubenico Live? What was my first Facebook Live show? Close this box. That's for one winner, the first winner. Okay, So our team is going to put together those answers and let us know. And then the other question is, where are my studios? Here in Harare, where is Rubenico Live shot? Where do we shoot from? What is our location? And then the other one is, what is Olinda Chideme's favorite local song? And then the other question is, what is the name of the company that's giving us these amazing Valentine's gifts? So let us know the answer to those questions, and we will give away those prizes to lucky winners. So while we find out who's winning those prizes, in the spirit of love, it's always good to have friends with amazing talents and amazing voices. Um, to wrap up our show and to serenade you all, I'd like to put um, this time toward a personal friend who's really good at basketball. We play, and he is amazing. But he's also even better at his God-given talent, which is singing. And I'd like to welcome now to my show, Mr. Brian Kadengu. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Why not get yeah. a hug as well? Amen, or maybe he's scared. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he doesn't want to come too close. All right, Brian, how are you doing? I'm all right. How yeah, are you? I'm fine. You look, okay. you yeah. are looking good. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy these days. Thank you for having me. Yeah. There's so, so much sauce in this in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Yeah. All right, so we're going to give you the stage, all right? The couch, right. whatever, you know. Do what you do best, make the ladies feel like heaven. I mean, I'm comfortable. Are you comfortable? Yeah, I'm comfortable. Yeah, you know? I think the only thing that's missing is a couple of glasses of wine or vodka Champagne or something. Or something yeah. you know? Strawberries on cream. We need to work on that team. Yeah. Did you hear that? We need to speak to our team about that. All right, let's hear it. You are my African queen. Your beauty is so real. Good skin, brown eyes, they so natural, the heavy machine. Yeah. Yeah, he you are that. my African queen. Your beauty is so real. Good skin, brown eyes, hair so natural, the heavy, 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 heavy. heavy. Oh Wow. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Somebody. Yeah. Come on. Come <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's all natural. And she's all natural. I'm proud to call her my lady. She's my African queen. Oh wow! Her beauty is so real. Good skin, brown eyes, hair so natural. The hair yeah. machine. Hair so natural. Yeah. She is my African queen. Your beauty is so real. Good skin, brown eyes, are so natural. The heavy, 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 heavy. Oh, the heavy machine. Why don't you guys help me sing? Okay. Okay. The heavy machine. I can't even. The heavy machine. The heavy, 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 oh, the heavy machine. She is so intelligent. Conversations yeah. always making sense. 
Whenever my spirits are low, her smile brightens up my day. She completes me. Always there to pick me up when I fall. She completes me. I'm proud to call her my lady. Yeah, she is my African queen. Her beauty is so real. Dark skin, brown eyes, hair so natural, the heavy machine. She is my African queen. Her beauty is so real. Dark skin, brown eyes, hair so natural, the heavy, 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 heavy. Can I make a request? Can I make a request? <laughs> yeah, we're talking about I don't know yeah. if, you, if you'll be happy to sing another local artist song, but today I was listening to... <laughs> Look at his face. Please. He's like, you why would I do that? You have to make what for me? For me, right, come on. Song. Uh, it's Ngoni song, Jean Nondita so. There's g- played, g- got, g- got Ngoni to sing for me and my, uh, for my birthday last year, and it's my favorite local song. Let's see. Sorry, Gondi. When I. I'm not too sure if I know the lyrics, but let me Okay, try. We'll, we'll try and fill the gaps. Just do the hook or something. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> You know, that, I think yeah. that is not his song. I think you did good. Yeah, All right, well you did good. I like your music too. Okay. So, no, um, oh. Ryan, thank you so, so much. Um, we already have two winners so far, um, I believe, for this uh, these prizes. So, we have. African Fire giving us uh, two aw- two prizes. So the first winner is Rosie Rosie on Facebook, and then the other winner is Dudley Chizura. Dudley Chizura and Rosie Rosie. We'll be in touch with you to let you know the details where you can pick up the prizes. And then we've got two more still waiting for the correct answer. Asitina, let's be serious. <laughs> let's be very very serious. Um, so we need to. Um, no, I'm going to request one song. Um, you know, it's one of my favorite songs in life. And um, it's by Lauren Hill and the Fugees. Oof. Can we do it? All right. Yay. Just to leave you softly. Turn your lights down low. Oh, turn your, oh yeah. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Very important. Yeah. Very, very important. We've got two more winners, okay, um, that we're waiting for. Get the answers right, guys. Do you intend to and be then turning your lights away. down low today? I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's ready <laughs> for it. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? You know, you we're know still what? in the same house. This and is the single woman struggle. But yeah. there are many women out there and men that can help you through it. We're still in the same house. I, think, time I think you can book your flight for the morning. And one more night, go, go hang out with your girlfriends. Hey, okay. or, or for all time's sake. Just kind of remind her brother what he's doing. I'm chopping to that. I'm chopping to that. All right, we've got our last two winners. That's Tinashe Godfrey. And Maureen Kademaunga, all right? Maureen Kademaunga. Hi, Maureen. It's nice to see that you're watching. She was on my set uh, last week. So Maureen and Tinashe Godfrey, congratulations. So those are our four winners for our African Fire jewelry this afternoon. So we'll let you know the details of where you can get that. And to shut down our show, Brian Kay is going to give us one of my favorite songs ever. Turn your lights down low. And I'll pull your window curtain. <laughs> oh, let Jamu come shining in into our lives again. Say, Ooh, girl, 
I love you. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, I think so. And I, and I want you to know right now. Know right now. Say, ooh, 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 I love you. And I want you to know right now that I Every night, and uh, my we're in that people. <laughs> this is not my department. <laughs> they need to go have their own Valentine's. But it's genuinely one of my favorite songs. So um, we're going to wrap up now. Brian K, thank you so much for coming through. Thank you. Um, thank you. We know that you are young, single, with a lot of love to give. So please um, do go and enjoy the rest of your Valentine's Day. We will not keep you. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Don't go breaking any hearts, though. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Olinda, thank you very, very You're much for, for being here. And I hope that um, we have agreed that this would be, I hope, the last no, that we'll see. It is. This is all done and dusted. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, the next time that people hear about me, I want it to be in a positive I agree. positive light. I agree. And You're a woman with a lot to give. No, right? it's basically it's what I'm calling the emancipation of me. I like uh, it. I like where it. Where I go there, I fix myself and... You know, just take care of me. It's called self-love. That's, there you go. that's all I'm giving me right there now. You go. And just being the woman I was born to be and this, this strong, independent 100%. person. And, you know, you know, be an example to my kids that the woman that they're going to marry is going to be like their mom despite my mistakes. Great. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you again, Olinda. Wonderful. And that's Thank it you. from us on Rabbinical Live for today. It's been an absolute pleasure hosting you. As you know, this program is going to bring you anything current. As long as it's current, as long as it's an affair, whatever it is that it covers, be it politics, sport, business, social, celebrities, we are here to give you what you want to hear about. So we are going to be back on Thursday with a special guest. We'll let you know about that. So do not miss more of Rabbinical. We'll be back, as I said, same time, same place. That's it from me. Good night for now. Be good. And if you can't be good, be safe. <laughs>